So in today's video, we're gonna talk about four cities in the San Diego area that I believe are going to appreciate and grow the most because of what's happening and changing in those areas. So I'm actually gonna explain what's changing, what's happening, and I'm even gonna hop on the map and show you some of these little pocket neighborhoods where you should really keep an eye on because I believe home values are going to do awesome there. Let's check it out. By the way, my name is Nick, and if you're thinking about making a move in or around the San Diego area, we would love to be your real estate resource of choice. You can shoot us a text, shoot us an email, or just straight up give us a call so we can help you save a ton of time and just help you make a smooth move right here to San Diego. So as prices have gotten crazy, crazy high here in San Diego, and they just seem to continue to keep going up and up, I've always been trying to figure out, okay, which areas are going to appreciate and grow a little bit quicker and faster than some of the others. And a lot of the times it just has to do with some of the developments and things that are coming to some of these cities. So let's go ahead and let me show you on the map. All right, so let's take a gander at Oceanside. Now, this is a place that I actually live in. I live in the coastal zone over here, and it's a place that I've seen just rapidly changing over the last, not just even a couple of years, but I'd say in the last 10, 15 years, it's been growing and changing so much. And the prices of these homes are just starting to go up and up and up. So I wanna show you a couple of these neighborhoods where things are gonna probably start to pop off and get more expensive and a couple developments that are gonna be popping up. So first, let me show you these developments. So this one's gonna be over here. This is gonna be off Oceanside Boulevard and Ranch Del Oro right here. You're gonna have the Front Wave Arena. This is actually being built right now and it's expected to be done sometime in 2024. So this is gonna be super exciting because it's gonna be not only a sports arena, but it's gonna be a music venue. North County needs more music venues. We don't have enough. We have the belly up in Solana Beach, and I can't really think of anything else besides that. So this is gonna be huge. You're gonna have a giant stadium. So you're gonna have an indoor soccer team there. You're gonna probably have some other teams starting to play there, and you're also going to have uh, a park. So you're gonna have pickleball courts, which is a huge yes. We need more pickleball courts. Uh, tennis courts, and it's going to be a big outdoor park. So that's all going to be happening right here, which you can see it's pretty central for the most part. That's going to be almost dead center uh, in Oceanside. So you're going to have people coming from really all over uh, North County, San Diego to come check out this venue and kind of hang out there and see what it's all about. So that's something huge that's coming. And you also have, I'll go over here and talk about this one real quick before we talk about neighborhoods. But right here, there's been talks about it. And I've seen a couple articles on it, but at the transit center, you got some big parking lots right here that they actually want to convert and turn into a big shopping center. So it, you know, this parking lot, it does get used. It's great because you can hop on the, you know, if you want to go on the Amtrak and go up north, or maybe you want to head on to the coaster and head south to downtown San Diego or something like that. It, it's great to utilize that. But yeah, they're talking about taking this parking lot and actually converting it into a shopping center. So if you're familiar with like one Paseo in Del Mar, that's kind of what I'm picturing, just like a high-end luxury restaurants, things like that. They're trying to change Oceanside. So if that comes, that's going to bring a lot more growth. Um, but let alone just this El Corazon Park right here and having that front wave arena, that's going to cause massive growth in my opinion. And this whole coastal area of Oceanside has always been rapidly changing, and it always is. You have new buildings being put in. You have commercial buildings that are being completely renovated, and you have you know retail popping in and more of like a multi-use space. So you're seeing a ton of that on the coast, especially with restaurants and things like that, because it's not very expensive up here at the moment, and it's only going to get more and more expensive. I mean, Carlsbad right here, the average price point is $1.6 million. You come up to Oceanside, it's like 800000 So it's nearly half. So the prices are going to start to go, go up, in my opinion. Um, that's why I'm a big person on Oceanside. I love it. But a couple of neighborhoods that you should really look into if you are looking for an investment or just somewhere to move is going to be Fire Mountain is going to be a great one right here. Windy roads, mature trees, no sidewalks. That's kind of the feel up there. Prices are, you know, they're getting pretty high, 1.2, 1.3 and going up from there. Um, I think they're going to continue to go up. Loma Alta, this is, I, I'd put a lot of money on this place. It's really cool zone in here. You have a ton of just detached homes. Uh, some homes that are, they need a lot of work and others that are completely renovated. But prices in here are still very low. 
about $800,000 going well up to 1415 at the moment, but I think that's going to continue to go up. Drive around this area, it's super cool, great vibe. There's some stuff that kind of keeps it suppressed in my opinion, Oceanside Boulevard right in this zone right here. It's a lot of like auto body shops. You're going to see some homeless and things like that. So, once you start to climb up Loma Alta, it starts to get really nice. So, these are some areas that I would definitely look into if I was looking to buy an Oceanside. Make sure you're looking at these two. And obviously, if we have a conversation, I'll, I'll can fill you in on some more. But let's go ahead and check out the next town. So now we're leaving Oceanside and we're going to head right over to one of its neighbors, which is going to be San Marcos. It's not very far, maybe 25, 30 minutes from the coast, which is amazing. And this place has been changing a lot recently and it really has its act together. Um, but let me just show you one zone where we're going to see a lot of development happen. And I think it's just going to make San Marcos overall grow in general. Now, actually, there's two things and they're right next to each other. So right here, this is going to be North City. San Marcos has never really had a downtown, in my opinion. I grew up here for a good portion of my life. You know, most of the time we'd go to Carlsbad or Encinitas, somewhere that actually had a downtown. But there hasn't been a downtown. You got a nice row of things to do over here off of San Marcos Boulevard. You know, you got the Edwards Cinemas. You got this big shopping center, Las Posas, where you can do, you know, retail shopping. And then you got the bowling alley. But that was kind of it. You didn't really have much else to do. You got some outdoor stuff to do. But besides that, there's no like proper downtown. So right here in North City, they're actually doing this now. So it's kind of getting built up as we speak. But even right now, there's a lot of cranes there and they're actually making some high rise buildings and it's just going to have a completely different vibe. And even over here now, you already have some shops, bars and restaurants and things. You got a Buena Marqueta, you got a sushi spot right here and it's right across the street from Cal State San Marcos. So you do have a lot of lodging for students and things like that in the zone. Now, right across the street, you're going to have a big blank space as you see right here. Give it a probably a good year, two years. This ain't gonna be blank anymore. They're building, Lennar and Shea Homes is actually building over here right now. And there's gonna be over four or 500 homes, I believe. So mix of townhomes and detached homes. Not a lot of places to build in San Diego anymore, especially like this close to the beach. But San Marcos is somehow doing it still. Uh, a lot of peaks and valleys for the most part. So a lot of hiking and things. So there's not a lot of areas that they actually want people to build in but this is one here. So you're gonna see a lot of homes popping up. If you're interested in those, definitely reach out because we know uh, what's going on usually first. We're really on top of that stuff. So if we need to get you on a list or go check them out, we'll make that happen. But those are two huge developments that are gonna be happening here in San Marcos. And it's overall just gonna make this city grow and kind of put it more on the map. Now, a couple areas that I would kind of keep you know, on the radar. One is going to be Richland. I don't talk about this place very often. It's north of Highway 78 here, but there's no HOAs back here for the most part because a lot of uh, San Marcos does have HOA communities, but you're not going to find any up here. And they're all, you know, homes that can really be found at right around $700,000 at the moment. That's a detached home. So that's not bad. But when I say seven, 700 grand, it's going upwards of 700 grand. So this is going to be a good area that I would keep my eye on. And then if you like master plan communities, uh, definitely take a look at San Aleo Hills. This is always going up in value, in my opinion. Um, it, values have done really well over here, and they're going to continue to just because you have a bunch of amenities just right within that city. You don't even have to leave, really. You can walk down there. You can take a two, three-minute drive and have grocery stores, bars, restaurants. And not to mention, you got two, you got about three schools in there now. So What's better than that? Your kids can literally walk to school, meet up with their friends. So that's another area. And then another place I'm betting big on is going to be, whoop, not in the right zone. Sorry. Right over here. This is going to be Lake San Marcos. This one has gotten a lot of attention in the past couple years, and it's just a cool place. You got a lake, a big old lake that goes through it. So you got some lakefront homes. You can rent a boat. You can have a boat. Some really cool homes back here if you're looking for that. I'd say prices in there are going to start about a million. You can find a, a condo starting at about five to 600,000. So 
just know these are going to be some areas that are definitely, I'm very confident when I say this, they're going to go up in value, especially because of these developments over here. And remember, as much as we love making these videos for you guys, we love helping you with your real estate needs just a little bit more. It's literally what we're best at. We know a lot of these areas like the back of our hands. So if you have any questions, make sure you guys are reaching out. Now we're going to head down from San Marcos and cruise all the way down to South San Diego and land in Chula Vista. Now Chula Vista is a pretty big area and there's always been a lot of development stuff happening over here, especially on the east side. You're gonna see a lot of new construction homes, newer shopping plazas and things like that. Well, they're not so new anymore, but this is an area where building is still happening. Now, we're gonna talk about some Bayfront stuff because the Bayfront is where you get a lot of people coming in town to visit and people start to really say, hey, I like this place, I'm gonna buy something here. So let's look at this zone right here. So this is gonna be the Bayfront uh, redevelopment project just right over in this area right here. It's going to be about 550 acres of uh, new development. So you're going to have a hotel there with, I think it's like 20 stories, oceanfront. You're going to have parks. You're going to have, I saw on one of the renderings, there was a water park with a water slide. So they're putting about $1.2 billion into this. So this is going to bring a new light to Chula Vista because in my opinion, especially growing up in San Diego, Chula Vista just always hasn't had the best rep to it. And this is kind of in an area that you have some some nice neighborhoods and you have some eh neighborhoods. So you're gonna see a lot of that, especially on the west side of Chula Vista over here. Um, a lot of military families because Coronado's right here, um, but you, you know, you're close to the Mexico border. So just things like that. But this project that's gonna be happening, I think is gonna, like I said, bring a new light and people are gonna kind of be more pulled towards Chula Vista because it's just getting nicer. So you're gonna see a lot of interesting neighborhoods kind of throughout here, some really nice neighborhoods, some really well renovated homes, and then some of the neighbors' homes just not so pretty. But as we head over here, I think prices will continue to just go up over here, especially in East Lake, Otai Ranch, this whole area over here. Families absolutely love it. You got some great schools and the price point isn't very expensive yet. So it's just a very appealing place if you have family, and you want to raise your kids in kind of a more family-oriented area. This is going to be kind of where I think prices will continue to go up, especially with that new development happening because people can, you know, live over here and take that 15, 20-minute drive just to get over here and check out that those parks and just have a day at the beach for the most part. You're going to have beach access over there. So it's going to be really cool. So this is kind of the area that I would keep my eyes on because you have a lot of great shopping over here in Otai Ranch, great schools, especially East Lake, people love it over there, families love it. So great area, some newer construction homes um, and things like that. Now we're gonna head up from Chula Vista and shoot all the way back up to North County, San Diego. And we're gonna land in Vista. Now this one's gonna be smack dab in the middle between San Marcos and Oceanside. And it's, in my opinion, it's a lot different than both of these cities, which brings a big appeal there. Now there's no major developments happening at the moment here in Vista. You do have San Marcos, which we already sp spoke about, and Oceanside, which is rapidly changing. Um, and I think that change is only going to grow into Vista, especially as prices start to get more and more expensive. It leaves people no choice but to go to Vista sometimes. And nothing wrong with Vista. I absolutely love it here. And it's what I kind of wanted to touch base on. It's really going through like a gentrification right now because in this downtown old historic Vista zone, it is amazing down here. You got so many new shops, bars, and restaurants that are in here and it's just revamped and you can actually hang out there and just have a great time. And it's all, you know, there's residential homes just right outside of this. So you have a legit downtown feel here in Vista and it's a place that a lot of people don't really know about. Once they kind of call us and they describe what they're looking for, we usually send them up here to at least explore it and eight, nine times out of 10, they absolutely love it and they add it to their search. So we've helped some people find some amazing homes up here, some great deals. Um, but it just is a different vibe and you have some great neighborhoods that I'd look out for would be Shadow Ridge, which is more of like a master plan community, uh, where you got some good schools, you have kind of like more family oriented, nice, nice homes and things like that. But if you're like me and you like those windy roads, your neighbor, not right next to you, mature trees, look in the North, Northeast of Vista, all in these zones right here. You can see it's very veiny and it's all windy roads back here. You're close to downtown Vista. And values have done really well, especially in the last five years in Vista. And I think it's going to continue because I've, a lot of my friends, even myself have grown up on the coast, We're not grown up on the coast, but lived on the coast. We wanted to be close to the beach. Rents were 
you know, not bad. So that's where we lived. But as you start to want to buy a home, especially your first home, you got to go inland. That's where you can get that leverage and buy something at a better price. And a lot of people usually look to Vista and I, I can't say enough good things about it. So Vista is going to be another place that's that's, in my opinion, I'm really confident to say values are going to go up here, especially being close to Oceanside and San Marcos, where those new developments are happening. This is going to see some really, really good home values. But in reality, who knows if these areas will go crazy high in value. Maybe they'll stay stagnant or maybe they'll go down. It really depends on what you're looking for, what's going on in your life. That's why it's so important that you guys reach out to us. We have that Zoom or a phone call just to help figure out what's important to you guys, your wants and needs, your budget, all that stuff. Because usually one conversation, we can learn a lot about you and really set you up with a game plan for what's going to be right for you. So make sure you guys are reaching out. All of our info is right there down below. And of course, we got a couple videos right here that will probably be extremely helpful as well. I'll see you there.